unfortunately, I have to start off with some sad news. Uh, Joan Lee, wife of Stan Lee, has died. And she was 93 years old. This uh, came courtesy of the HollywoodReporter.com. It says, The pair who met when the Marvel boss was supposed to take her friend on a date were married for 69 years. Um, so they confirm that she has passed away and they're asking for privacy and God willing that they'll, they'll get it. Uh, it says, The former British hat model and Lee were married on December 5th, 1947. Married for 69 years, guys. I mean, wow. And were by all accounts hopelessly devoted to each other. They had two children, J.C., uh, who was born in 1950, and Jan, who died three days after her birth in 1953. Oh, I didn't know that. And this goes on to kind of uh, where Stan Lee uh, had done an interview describing <coughs> how he'd met her. And he says, uh, when I was young, there was one girl I drew. One body and face and hair. It was my idea of what a girl should be, the perfect woman. And when I got out of the army, somebody, a cousin of mine, knew a model, a hat model at a place called Le uh, Laden Hats. He said, Stan, there's this really pretty, girl, really pretty girl named Betty. I think you'd like her. She might like you. Why don't you go over and ask her lunch, blah, blah, blah. He said, so, so I went up to this place. Betty didn't answer the door, but Joan answered, and she was the head model. I took one look at her, and she was the girl I'd been drawing all my life. And then I heard the English accent, and I'm a nut for English accents. She said, may I help you? And I took a look at her, and I think I said something crazy like, I love you. <laughs> he says, he, I don't remember exactly. But anyway, I took her to lunch. I never met Betty, the other girl. I think I proposed to Joan at lunch. Which is just fantastic and sweet. And maybe, you know, maybe we've just seen a little bit of inspiration for MJ. Uh, you know, the whole opening the door and the tiger. I think he just hit the jackpot line. You know, maybe he, maybe that was a little bit of that was based on this. So they go on, and, um, you know, talks about how they were married. And uh, you know, the funny thing is, is this is just really a, Dream relationships, you know, you marry a spouse that doesn't let you give up. You know, like, um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Stephen King threw his manuscript for Carrie in the trash when he was writing it in the 70s. Uh, and it was his wife that pulled the manuscript out of the trash, out of curiosity, and read it. And she was the one that told him, I think you need to finish this. I think this is something special because he just, he just was frustrated and sick of it. And, of course... You know, he was an English teacher at that point, and had it not been for his wife, he might still he might basically be a retired English teacher instead of what he became. Uh, that says here. Let's see. Sorry, I lost it. Hang on a second. Okay, so in some versions of the orig the origin of the Fantastic Four, Lee credits Joan with inspiring him. He was depressed about his career. Lee had dreams of becoming a serious novelist, and the state of the and the state of comics. The industry in the 1950s was dominated by stories of war, science fiction, and romance genres he didn't like, and contemplated leaving the business. Before you quit, Joan told him, "Why don't you write one comic you are proud of?" And thus was born the Fantastic Four, which is pretty sweet. So, Stan, we love you. Our hearts are with you. Our thoughts are with you. Our prayers are with you. Uh, I can't imagine, you know, how hard uh, of a time he's going through right now. So, <sighs> well wishes to Stan Lee and, you know, I don't know. That's just all I can say about that. I just wish him the best. Uh, you know, I've been married for 17 years and, you know, life, that that long of a life with someone and then they're gone uh, is incomprehensible.